Well, imagine living life knowing that you may not make it past 30. That was the reality for patients diagnosed with cystic fibrosis for years. It's a genetic disease that clogs the lungs and digestive system with mucus, but now a new treatment trialed by some here in Grand Rapids is giving patients decades of life that they weren't promised to them before. They speak breaths. Many people don't think twice when asked to take a deep breath at the doctor's office, but for Sarah Rusnell, it's a true test of how far she's come in the last few years. Sounds clear. Yay! <laughs> and that reaction says it all, because for most of her life, breathing easy didn't come easy for this cystic fibrosis patient. So I had routine therapies, inhaled medicines, um, physical percussions that we do on my body, a massive amount of pills that I took every single day. Daily tasks, taxing for a body plagued with cystic fibrosis. The disease causes severe lung infections, persistent coughs, getting sick often, among a huge slew of symptoms. But worst of all. So when I was born, the average life expectancy was elementary school. Early death. The body eventually succumbing to the disease at an early age. That is until recently. It's crazy. It, it, I never thought in my career I would see changes this profound in such a short period of time. Dr. Mark McClellan is the director of the Adult Cystic Fibrosis Care Center at Corwell Health, and he's dedicated his career to helping patients live life to the fullest. But that often meant treating them only into their late 20s or early 30s. But not anymore. They're projecting that um, children who are started on modulators at a young age uh, will most likely live into their 70s and, and early 80s, basically essentially like a normal life expectancy. A modulator trialed by some here in Grand Rapids. They're easy to use, they're pills, just take twice a day. Now widely used to treat about 94% of patients, attacking the disease at a cellular level, and its effects for Sarah were almost immediate. I could literally feel that mucus leave. Having that body completely change in a relatively short period of time was so exciting. No longer the death sentence it once was, Sarah's outlook on life has changed dramatically. Now healthy at the age of 38, as it has for so many. A lot more women with CF are, are because they're healthier, they're choosing to have babies and able to have babies and raise families. Um, so it's been, it's been absolutely transformative and it's been, it's been amazing uh, to, to witness it and to, and to be some small part of it. Today, Sarah leaves the CF clinic with hopes and dreams she never thought were a reality. Sometimes even I forget that I have CF. And the, the before the modulators feels like a different life. Well, the friends and family of cystic fibrosis are hosting a masquerade ball next week, and it's the 23rd. We've got all the information on our website, fox17online.com. But again, that goes back to families affected by cystic fibrosis right here in West Michigan. But it is just insane to hear some of those yeah. numbers. You know, when she was born, she didn't know if she lived past, you know, fifth grade. Then it was college, and yeah. it just keeps growing and now she's looking to live into her 60s and yeah, 70s so such a life-changing treatment deal. and can you imagine having to live your life in blocks like that yeah. like maybe I'll make it to high school maybe I'll make it to college and her spirit is just yeah. so you know she's so so happy and so mm -hmm. bright and you can tell how much this means to her to yeah. have those more extra years all right 938 right now still ahead this morning some West Michigan high school boys basketball teams playing at the